Good evening, everyone. This is Jonathan from the National Weather Service here in Norman, Oklahoma. Uh, this is going to be a winter weather briefing regarding our chances for winter precipitation beginning New Year's Day and continuing on through Saturday. Okay, let's go ahead and dive right in here. As a warm front begins to lift across Texas and into the Texoma region uh, overnight, our chances for precipitation will increase beginning new, early New Year's Day, and then they will spread northward through the day and overnight into Friday. So the initial precipitation will likely be rain and freezing rain across far southern Oklahoma and western North Texas, and then we'll have freezing rain and sleet continue to spread northward through the day. Uh, with a system such as this, we can also expect probably some light freezing drizzle or just drizzle uh, to precede the front as it lifts north. So keep that in mind on New Year's Day. The area outlined in, in red here is the area that will have the greatest chance for measurable precipitation through the course of New Year's Day and night. So let's go ahead and take a look at the timing. Like I said, Best chances will begin sometime between 8 a.m. and noon. We'll see rain and freezing rain start to push into western North Texas and far, far southern Oklahoma, the Texoma region. And then as we go through the day, chances will continue to push north as that warm front lifts across. And just keep in mind, there is a chance of some freezing drizzle around during the day ahead of that front, well ahead of that front. So kind of a dreary day to start uh, 2015. Well, the wintry precipitation will continue on through Friday, so as you wake up on January 2nd, uh, freezing rain and sleet and even snow may be possible across portions of the area. Now, temperatures will slowly rise above freezing through the afternoon, so we'll likely see a transition uh, freezing rain to just rain through the afternoon hours. So that may help a little bit with any, any ice that may accumulate across the region as we go through the day on Friday. Once again, the best chances for precipitation are outlined here in red, and those will be across central and southern Oklahoma and western North Texas. Okay, of course, with freezing rain and sleet across the area, there is a chance of ice accumulations. Uh, right now, this is the most recent forecast from our office. Now, these are pretty minor accumulations. These would mainly pose a hazard primarily to travel. This is especially true if you're traveling Thursday night into Friday really need to check the forecast before you head out, or if you can, just postpone your trip until possibly maybe Saturday afternoon. Because uh, travel on Thursday night and through Friday into early Saturday looks, looks like it could be pretty hazardous out there. So definitely check the forecast, check back for the, the, recent, or for the most recent forecast, uh, make sure that you're up to date, especially if you have to travel during that time frame. Well, as we go into Friday night and Saturday, uh, basically, the upper level low begins to push off the, the panhandles, and as it moves into the, into the region, lifts into the central plains, the freezing rain and rain that's ongoing will actually transition over to snow, and so we'll actually likely have a transition line that's unfortunately going to go right through the Oklahoma City metro and then back into southwestern Oklahoma and down into far western North Texas. So this will bring a chance of snow and then a mix of snow, freezing rain and sleet, and then primarily just rain, especially Saturday morning across uh, far southern Oklahoma and western North Texas. So this is our expected accumulations right now for Saturday. Of course, this map will change, I guarantee it. But right now it looks like pretty minor accumulations if we get snow early Saturday morning, likely an inch to an inch and a half across far northern Oklahoma and northwestern Oklahoma. Maybe a trace to an inch uh, locations across central and down into uh, southwestern Oklahoma. And of course, uh, dusting is maybe likely from Oklahoma City back to Altus. So like I said, if you have to travel Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, definitely continue to check the forecast to get the most up-to-date information. Uh, as we move closer to the weekend, move closer to the holidays. With the winter precipitation, of course, there are impacts, and we've pretty much covered that. Roads may become slick and hazardous. Travel especially looks difficult Thursday night into Friday. Uh, for preparedness, I mean, it's always important that you have a winter travel plan, especially ask yourself, should I even drive? If, I mean, uh, unfortunately, some of us have to drive during this time frame, so make sure you have an emergency kit in your car, blanket, flashlight, maybe uh, some food, some water, and remember to drive slowly and always use your headlights, especially in the evening and whenever there's any kind of precipitation falling out of the sky. So here's the road condition phone numbers that you can call for Oklahoma and Texas. And then over here on the left, I've got the phone numbers you can call for, for basically the surrounding states around Oklahoma. If you need to know about road conditions, these are the phone, phone numbers you need to call. Uh, these people have the updated information from both the Oklahoma Department of Transportation and the Texas Department of Transportation. 
And with that, I'd like to thank you for logging on and viewing this briefing. Uh, we had a lot to cover. I'm glad you, thank you for sticking in there with me. Uh, remember to monitor our webpage for the latest forecast information. It's weather.gov forward slash Norman. Stay tuned to your local media outlets. If you're going to have to travel, make sure you continue to check the forecast because it probably it will definitely change as we move closer to New Year's and into the weekend. If you're traveling outside of our area, make sure you know what your local forecast office is. The folks at all the offices that surround us are the experts for weather in that area. So make sure you check their web pages. They all have Facebook pages. They all have Twitter accounts. They all have phone numbers. And remember, you can like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thanks again, and have a great evening.